Okay, let's uh, do example two. Okay, we're looking at the number of fans at a game compared to how far away the game is. Okay, so the distance that the game is away from, I guess, your home school and the number of fans. Okay, the number of people from your school that are fans there. Okay, so for example, let's say you're 20 miles away from Delta. Okay, um, so it looks like there we had 420 maybe, 420 uh, Delta fans at a game that was 20 miles away. Okay, but then looks like we had a game that was 40 miles away and we only had 300 fans. Okay, 300 of us at that game. Okay, so it's kind of showing the farther away the game, maybe the fewer of your fans that will be there. Okay, you get that? Okay, but this is just a scatter plot showing some uh, real information of a, of a problem like that. Okay, we want to find the equation of the line of best fit, which they gave us. They went ahead and drew the line of best fit. We want to use that to predict the number of fans at a game that is 60 miles away. Okay, now you could use the picture of the graph. You could go to 60 miles on the x-axis. You could go up to your line, the blue line. You could go over. Okay, it looks like maybe 250. Okay, 250 fans would be there, but we want to use the equation instead of the picture of the graph. Okay, it's just a different way to do it. Okay, the trickiest part is finding the slope because to find the equation of the best fit line, you need the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, but the trickiest part of this whole problem, guys, is the slope. Okay, to find the slope of a line, okay, find two corner points. Okay, ignore the red dots. We don't care about the red dots anymore. I'm going to go to where it's less busy so I can see a little bit better. I think that is a pretty good corner point right there. Okay, right there. That looks like a good corner point to me. And I think this one right here does too. Okay, so from this point to this point, those would be really good corner points to rise and run from to get the slope. Okay. Um, to rise and run, uh, think about up or down, how much, over how much. Okay. Up or down, over. I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it better. Okay. So right here. Okay. Up or down from here to get to there. How much do we go up or down? How much do we go over? It looks like we go down one, right one, doesn't it? Down one, right one. Okay, this is the important thing. You gotta look real carefully at the numbering. Okay, we are going down one space, over one space. But look at the numbering on the, on the fans. We have 300, we have 400. A halfway between would be 350. So this would be 350. And then those 50s are broken in half again. Okay, can you see that we're really counting by 25s? If this is 300, this is 325, this is 350, this is 375, this is 400. Okay, we just kind of, we got to figure out what are we counting by. We're counting by 25s on the y-axis. Okay, on the x-axis, okay, let's just pick, pick a couple numbers close together. Here's a 30, and here's a 40. So two spaces make 10, because there's 10 miles in between. So if there's 10 miles for two spaces, one space is just five miles. Okay, you get that? Each space on the x-axis is five miles. So each space on the y-axis is 25 fans, but each space on the x-axis is 5 miles. So when we find the slope, when we go from here to here, we need to think of it as going 
down 25 fans over 5 miles. So the slope is negative 25 fans over 5 miles. Okay, it's negative 25 divided by 5. Okay, the slope is negative 5. Okay, so it's not negative 1 like we may have thought if we just glanced at it. Okay, it's not down 1, right 1. Okay, the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay, the y-axis. Okay, here's 500. It's one space above. It must be 525. The y-intercept is 525. Okay, the equation. The equation of a line. y equals slope x plus y-intercept. So y equals the slope is negative 5 x plus the y-intercept of 525. Okay, there's our equation. Okay, now we're going to predict the number of fans 60 miles away. We've got to be careful we're putting the 60 in the right place. Okay, 60 miles. 60 miles. Think about that. Miles is on the x-axis. So they're giving us x is 60. They're asking us for the number of fans. Okay, the number of fans is on the y-axis. Okay, so they're giving us x is 60. They're asking us for y. So we're going to take this equation. We're going to put 60 in for x because that's what they're giving us. We're going to solve it for y. So we're just going to type this out as y equals negative 5 times 60 plus 525. To solve for y, it's already alone. Okay, y is already alone, so we don't have to do much except to evaluate the right-hand side here. Okay, we got to multiply before we add. Negative 5 times 60 is negative 300. Add 525 to that. Let's see, that would be uh, 225. I lost my cursor. There we go. 225 fans. I'm sorry, typed it wrong. 225 fans. Okay, so that would be our prediction from the equation. Now the prediction from the actual picture, the graph, we said go to 60, go right above, and we got 250. Okay, 250 and 225, those are good. Both of those are good predictions. Okay, so when you're doing the Khan Academy problems, just be extra, extra careful when you're finding slope. Think about the y-axis, how it's numbered. This one it was numbered by 25s. Think about how the x-axis is numbered. In this problem, the x-axis was, was counting by 5s. Okay, so find the slope, find the y-intercept, okay, write the equation, the slope goes in front of the x, the y-intercept goes at the end, and then plug the number in that they want to predict. Okay, let me know if you have any questions.